what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's remarks over the last weekend have been making headline rounds. But his latest remarks might be the most historically inaccurate, dumbest ass statement ever made by a ranking senator. When asked about reparations for slavery on the eve of a House hearing on the issue, old Mitch fixed his raggedy pickup truck Jim Crow Confederate flag cotton mouth to say, reparations for something that happened 150 years ago, for whom none of us are currently living or responsible, were not a good idea. Besides, he suggested acts such as electing Barack Obama president could be considered a form of compensation. Mitch said, we tried to deal with our original sin of slavery by fighting a civil war by passing landmark civil rights legislation, elected an African-American president, I don't think we should be trying to figure out how to compensate for it. First of all, it would be too hard to figure out whom to compensate. Start with me, sucker. It ain't that hard. It didn't take you that long to figure out who to compensate with the Germans. It didn't take you that long to figure out who to compensate with the Japanese. He compensated their descendants, no problem. Quick, fast, and a hurry. See, every few years that go by, they say, well, we had a 160 years, it happened 160 years ago. Before 150 years, they were saying it happened 140 years ago. Before that, they were saying it happened 130 years ago. Before that, they were saying it happened 100 years ago. Before that, they were saying it happened 50 years ago. Before that, they were saying it happened 30 years ago. You dig what I'm saying? There's a pattern. It's like, we just going to ride this thing out till y'all just shut the hell up. Forget about it. So, for all you people out there that's totally against reparations, I, and I know the only, most of you are against it simply because you feel like it's going to cost you something. You're not against it because you know deep down in your heart, if you got a heart, you know that reparations are due. You know that for a fact. If you got any kind of sense, you know that. Many of you just don't want it to happen just because it's black people. That's why you don't want it. You don't want to see black people get a bag. I got it. So I looked up reparations. I know what reparations mean, but I wanted to get the... Webster's uh, definition of it. I want to go a little deeper. Let me see. Let me, because maybe if I just say, you know, reparation, y'all should pay us because y'all did this to our ancestors, and da da da. And y'all be like, well, that happened a long time ago. I wasn't alive and I didn't do anything. I didn't have any slaves and my mama didn't have any slaves and da 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 da. You know? So I looked up reparations. Here's what it says Reparations, the making of amends for wrong or injury done. Were there any wrong and injury done to black people? Reparations for an injustice. Was there any injustice? Is there still injustice? Usually reparations, compensation in money, material, labor, etc. Payable by a defeated country to another country or to an individual for loss suffered during or as a result of war. During or as a result of war. Loss suffered. Hmm. Black people suffer losses as a result of war. You better believe we did. You better believe we suffered losses as a result of the Civil War, the American Revolution. You can go on and on. Every war. Actually, Restoration to good condition. Have black people in America been restored to good condition? Hell no. So there's your answer. I mean, some of y'all just 
flips me out with your self-righteousness. You call yourself having a conscience. You call yourself believing in God. What type of God do you serve that will give you the nerve to think that black people don't deserve to be compensated for all of the years of injustice that has happened to black people in this country? Reparations is something given, all right? The war, the civil war, was something that black people participated in. Black people worked the civil war. Barack Obama was elected president. Black people had to work to get him in office. They had to put some effort toward that. The civil rights, black people worked toward the civil rights, put in work. It wasn't given. Reparations is something that's given for all the reasons I just stated. What part of the truth do you not hear? I mean, I just want to know, be honest, because I already know what the truth is. Anybody with a half a brain would come to the conclusion, yeah, you're right, man, that was wrong. In fact, let's just put it like this. Let's take black people out of the equation. You know what? Let's just act like black people don't even exist on the whole planet since you hate black people so much. Let's just act like black people don't exist. Put yourself in the shoes and say, that's us. That is my race. This is what happened to my people. And because of that, my people still suffer. We still getting targeted by the police and being criminalized and being murdered by the police. We still have a huge earning gap. There's a huge wage gap. Whereas the ruling class has damn near 100 times more. I'm kind of going for it, but, you know, 20 times more, whatever the number is. But they're way up there. And that's because of all the free labor. This is why we have so much. The, the, the ruling class have so much more. It ain't because they smarter, or they worked harder. It's because they got it for free. They got it off the backs of your people. That's why the ruling class got so much. They got it off the backs of your people and they never compensated your people for that. They never made it right, let alone apologize. How would you feel if it had happened to your people? Would you still be like, well, that was 150 years ago. That was a 200 years ago. At what point does justice prevail? See, y'all don't give a damn about justice unless you're benefiting from the justice. Unless something happened to you and you want justice. That's how a lot of y'all are. See, I know your game. I know who you are. I know the real you. You see, you're not a decent person. You're not God-fearing or God-loving. You're not an honest person. You're an opportunist who only want what can benefit you. That's who you are. You're evil. You're wicked. That's who you are. Because if, if, if I'm looking on the other side, I don't have any problem with people who have done wrong being compensated and are their descendants being compensated. I had no problem with Native Americans being compensated, Germans being compensated, the Japanese being compensated. America did some dirty shit to them people. I have no problem with them being compensated. So why so many people got a problem with black people being compensated? Why do they have a problem with the descendants of slaves being compensated? If you can look into the mirror at yourself, and honestly conclude that black people, descendants of slaves, don't deserve to be compensated for the atrocities that occurred to
to black people in this country during slavery and beyond to this day. I don't know what to say about you. Well, I take that back. I know a lot to say about you. Starting with your hopeless, your soulless, your heartless. If Mitch McConnell and the people who think like him, his constituents, his family, friends, anybody who support his theory really believes that the field is leveled. If y'all really believe that there is equality and justice for all in America, if y'all really believe that we all got the same shot and slavery has nothing to do with it. The remnants of slavery don't even exist. Give back all that money you got through the years. Give the money back. You ain't got to give nothing else. We'll catch up from there. Just give all the money back. That's what I thought. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.